Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 95 of Modern Skyblock 3 Departed, mod pack by Emozewa Gamer. So in the last episode, I got my auto crafting to a level where I'm super happy with it. First of all, I have five auto crafting set up. Not one, not two, five. And all of them have a 64k crafting storage and four co-processor, co-processing unit. What that means is that I can use four operation at the same time and look at these things. I have now eight interfaces, uh, sorry, eight molecular assembler with all of my interface in them. And I've automated every single type of processor. If you look at this, this one is to automate the um, logic, which is pure search of quartz. This one is to automate uh, calculation, I think is the gold. This one is to automate one of the three processor and then I have the seed processing here and I also added some auto import because if you look at this here this I'm constantly producing and this I'm constantly producing so these two are constantly being produced because I have chicken for diamond and I have chicken for silicon whereas the gold one the chicken is for nuggets so it's not really worth it and certus well I don't have automation of certus I also auto import all of these certus quartz and i'm just how much 148 47 stack uh yeah i have the max number of upgrades like this is just going to go up it shouldn't be a problem then what else oh my extreme reactor that you saw in the last episode now if i go back up here i also made this so look at this i made a ME interface terminal and the beauty of that is that it shows you all of the interface it says I have five advanced inscriber and each one is each line is one so one for these processor one for these processor one for these and then I have two alloy furnace and this is what they're producing I have a crystal growth chamber that does these I have an enhanced alloy smelter that does this enhanced sag mill and then these are all my eight molecular assembler that you see the whole list here, each page is one. So I'm gonna have to add some more for sure, but now I'm in a way more comfortable place. Which brings me to wanting to get some more crafting done. I, th I think it's time to um, get into nuclear craft now. So let's just take a quick look at the quest because I didn't do that last episode. So if I go back to um, large multi-blocks, I never completed the extreme reactor quest. So let's complete that one. Collect a reward. Come back, come back. Now claim a reward. And then look at the next one. So the next one is for a passively cool reactor. You can add, sorry, you can add a coolant port to your extreme reactor to cool it with water. But you could also add another one and right click it with an extreme wrench to output steam from your reactor. Use it in a turbine bind and then pipe it back as water. Uh, I'm not really going to do that, so let's just check. Do I have two reactant cooler port? So I don't think I ever made those. So let's just do that cooling port. Oh, I have one right here. So let's just craft a second one, and that should be good. So uh, I'm going to need more of those casings. So let's just go casing. That's something I have an auto crafting. So let's just do 10 more. Start. Perfect, and already done. See how fast my crafting system is? Now it's crazy. I also need a wrench. So let's look at the wrench. They want this one. Um, Is it that one? Yeah. Uh, no. This one right here. Extreme wrench. So I need two lime wool. So let's just craft one. Uh, can I make more lime? I'm pretty sure I can. The question is, can I do it easily? No, not the lime artificial dye. The floral lime. Nope. The lime dye. And the lime dye is made from... Give me one good recipe. Nope. I need bone meal and green dye. Bone meal and green dye. Really? Okay. So, green dye... I don't have green dye. So that's going to get solved pretty quickly. What do I have? Cactus wise. E. That's not a lot of cactus, but I'm going to cook all of it. 
let's just push it in here and wait to get my 64 back come on cook faster this thing is max upgraded it's still not instant there's a difference between fast and instant unfortunately oh i also have to import all of these there's a lot of little things that i have left to do but the question is how far um how far do i want to go in a time lapse so i really want to split that over multiple little time lapse perfect so that's done let's put that there let's create the second lime wool and now we can make our wrench so wrench this is the wrench that we want. Let's craft one of those. So that should be another quest. Let's just wait for it to detect. Perfect. So let's claim that one. I'm going to have to go back and come back. And can I finish this quest line? Ludicrite. Ludicrite is the most powerful material in Extreme Reactor. I don't really know what Ludicrite is for. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research. But right now, can I craft Ludicrite? Uh, so Ludicrite is made from ingot or this with another star or this one so this is plutonium and block of endurium so this one i can do can i just make the ingot though uh there is no recipe for just the ingot and what about the dust no okay so block form it is so i'm going to need two blocks of in oh i'm not in the right place i'm going to need two blocks of endurium so let's just search ludicrite again ludicrite right here oh this one so let's make two block of endurium, one and two, perfect. And then let's just do, oh, I don't have plutonium. So plutonium is very easy though. Plutonium is basically cyanide transformed, if I remember my recipe correctly. So let's grab one block of cyanide and I think it's an eight around. Like it just, I've done that recently. Oh yeah, perfect. So that's eight. So you know what? Let's make two blocks. So can I do two more? One, two. Yep, I can. And let's do two block of this. One and come on. Uh, <clears throat> misclick, misclick, misclick. Okay. And two. And you know what? The beauty of doing two like this is I can keep one as a block and transform one as ingot so that this is now completed. So everything to do with Extreme Reactor is completed, but doesn't mean I'm done with it. I don't know if I'm going to make this team transformation. I haven't decided yet. Let's just push all of that back in here and that back in here. So now if I come back, this is the syn Syngas system. I'm going to do that, but not as part of this episode. Like I said, this episode, I want to concentrate on getting these quests done. I want to start by these three because I want to unlock True Nuclear Fusion to start crafting. That's another... A power mechanism we're going to put into place but before we do that i just want to make sure i that i started the other types of material so this is uranium do i have what is it called again these are called alchemical so i'll just search for alchemical so i have no alchemical here oh wow i started flying by mistake so if i come back here alchemical osmium lead iron okay so none of these i don't really care what do i have in here lithium and this is producing lithium this one is producing thorium this one is more thorium and the back one right here is doing boron uh, i think i have enough no i don't think i have enough lithium boron how many do i have 43 stacks of borum okay so i think i have enough borum so let's just go right here put the uranium instead and wait for this one to complete and go dump perfect so what else did i need because i know that i need some more alchemical ore or let me just check i have the thorium i have uranium now being produced yellorium i don't care mithril magnesium lithium boron iridium chrome tungsten titanium draconium osmium ardite eh, everything else is pretty much standard i'm just trying to think if i'm missing something um you know what i'm not i'm not sure enough so this i wanted to keep and the reason i wanted to keep it is that um i want to change something downstairs so when i made this setup I made it wrong. Like, this is absolutely the wrong way to go about it. Why? 
Well, there's a very simple reason. This is a controller. The controller will put things in, guess what? Of the right place. So let's just go like this. Put that right here. Set that to insert, not extract. And set this one to extract and always active. And now, if I come back here and I look at speed upgrade, where are my speed upgrade like this? Two, three, four. Oh, I'm out of electrical steel. But anyway, the goal is not that. The goal is to prove that I can put four of them here. So now this is going to import way faster. Uh, what's going on? Are these connected? Yeah, they are connected. So why is it not importing? Let's grab a stack of 64. If I come here. Oh, no, I can't. Ah. Uh, because it's at 2048. That's easy to resolve. Upgrades. Get me 10 of you. And as you know now, I don't have to wait. I can just click this and say 10 of you. Because I have more crafting processor. So I can easily do this. And you know what? I was kind of expecting. Oh, view craftable. I want to view all of them. So let's grab both of these. And I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to use my open end and shift right click so I can go one, two, three, four. That should be more than enough and one void upgrade. But now I should be able to do this. And now if I look at this one, oh, this is full of upgrade. This one is full of upgrade. This one, let's go one, two, three and a void. And what about this one? I can go one, two, three and one void. I'm going to have to put some void upgrade on all of those at some point. Not right now. I'm going to have to do that later. Let's just get rid of a couple of things in this inventory. Keep the rest on me so that I have it when I need it. Oh, this is a tool. Quartz fiber, cobblestone I got to get rid of. What is this cobble? Oh, this is only stone. That's not cobblestone. Whoops, almost made a boo-boo there. Let's put the cobblestone here and let's go back to questing. Okay, so now we've started some of everything. Oh, I'm not done. I'm really not done. So now everything should import from here. And because everything should import from here, I'm just going to go like this, remove all of this. And oh, wow, that took a while to break. I'm going to come here and I'm going to switch this right here to the same thing. I'm going to go like this and like this. And now this one I'm going to set to extract with a speed upgrade always on. And I'm going to set this one to an insert and voila. Perfect. So now all of the lithium and all of the boron and all of the gold is going to get imported. You know what? I just want to help it a little bit because I'm producing uranium, but there's no spot for the uranium. So I'm not getting any uranium yet. So let's just do this this and voila we finally have some uranium and we have a lot of lithium and you know what i'm going to need some more speed upgrade speed upgrade is going to be one of these uh annoying ones so let's just go speed upgrade you know you want to automate things that are hard to make but you also want to automate things that are annoying. So this one's going to be annoying. So I need to automate the, the one itself. Then I need to automate the piston just because again, that's an annoying one to make. And I need to do the red torch like this. And then I can come here and I can go, let's go down here and go one here. Oh, sorry. One here, one here and one here. And then I can go, boom speed upgrade give me 20 and that's going to go through oh i don't have silicon really of all of the things i must be missing a silicon chicken so i'm going to have to work on this unfortunately let's just go back for now what i'm going to do is grab a crap ton of silicon to put in the system but I still have to automate the importation of all of this. Where is the silicon chicken? These are what? Oh, this is silicon. 
Oh, it's not the same type of silicon, though. That might actually be the problem. Let's go put that in the system and see if that's the problem. If that's the problem, it's kind of sad. I wish it or dictionary everything. Come on. Takes forever. It's kind of crazy how this can just be so slow or so fast depending on the situation. So let's put all of that silicon. Oops. I put my conduit in. You know what? Let's try this. 20 next. Nope, not the same silicon. Great. Let's do this again. Oh, it's the electrical steel recipe. Let's do this again. This again. Can I do processing pattern? And now silicon. Let's grab this type. And now... Uh, what's it called? Charcoal? Coal something? Pulverized coal and iron. And one iron. So all three of these things give electrical steel. Can I make one? Yes, I can make one. <sighs> Annoying. So let's just wait for that one. Put it there and say, yeah. So now, technically... Oh, I don't need to go there. I don't know why I'm still not used. Just give me a moment. If I go to the enhanced alloy furnace, I can put this recipe here. And now this is the big question. Does it know which one to take? So speed upgrade. If I take this and I say 20. Yes, it knows which one to take. So I can just start that. And that means I'm going to end up with a lot of speed upgrade in a couple of moments. So now, 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 back to our regular programming. Separating water. The electrolyzer allows you to separate water into oxygen and hydrogen. So we want to craft an electrolyzer. Let's just remove that. What is the electrolyzer? Okay, so I don't want to have to craft all of these things all the time. And so copper solenoid. Let's just go here. Cup. Do I have copper solenoid first? Check quickly. No. Perfect. So we're going to make a crafting recipe for copper solenoid. Right here. Copper solenoid. Make that a crafting recipe. And then if I go back here, we also need the electric motor. So we're going to make a crafting recipe for the crafting motor. And we also need these advanced plating. So oh, we also need these basic plating which are going to be made out of graphite dust and lead let's grab the right one this so graphite dust and lead let's make one of this and then we can make the advanced plating like this so that's four new recipe i'm going to so need to add more molecular assembler for sure so let's put that and that and this and finally that and let's look at the sag mill so this is pulverized cold pulverized so i don't have pulverized graphite so i'm going to search for graphite and i'm going to go graphite ingot and i'm going to grab a graphite because i think that the the normal sag mill gives the other type of graphite not the primary one that we saw enhanced sag mill see yeah it's that kind of graphite dust not the other one so that's why I have to be careful with my recipe. So this is going to be a processing recipe like this. Let's grab that. Oh, and now let's go to the enhanced sag mill. Put that in here. And you know what? I'm going to need more pattern. So I'm just going to come right here and say pattern and craft 32 of those. So that's another tread that's going to do its thing and I can just ignore it and move forward. So I should be able to craft an electrolyzer right now. You know what? Let's give, give me 10 of these. Start and then solenoid. Give me 20 of these. Start and then plate. Give me... Oh, they're not called plate. So electrolyzer, electro, oh, whew, weird names. 
advanced plating. So plating. So give me 32 of these. Let's just do 32. Next, start. And then basic plating. Give me 32 of those. I'm missing graphite dust. Okay, so again, I'm going to have to make both recipe. Graph. Oh, no, I can't make both recipe because that one I cannot get. So plating. Wait, what recipe did I use for plating? 32. I, I didn't think that I used that recipe. So graphite. Let's grab this graphite dust and let's say craft craft 32 perfect so that works and then give me the lead that we have in here like this and this should be a crafting recipe let's grab this one so what i'm going to do is a little switcheroo and i'm going to remove this one and i'm going to put that one instead and then i'm going to decode this one so i can reuse it perfect so let's put that and now if I go to plating, I have 32 of those. I want oh, 32 of those. Start. Perfect. So I don't have to go through the 12 recipe every time. And now I can go to electrolyzer and let's craft one electrolyzer. Nope. <laughs> um, I didn't mean make an electrolyzer pattern. If there's one thing I don't need is a pattern of that but I can still craft it from here. So that should be one quest. Perfect. Now back out because I need to select, select the loot chest, back, come back and claim and back and come back. So chemical reactor, I'm going to make three of those. And there's a good reason because I'm gonna need two for the fusion. So chemical reactor right here and oh i'm going to need three of these servo mechanism three should i make a recipe for that i don't think so i'm not going to do that for now so chemical reactor the full pull yakov wow that's the weird name probably one of the scientists that invented this like usually people who make these mods are real fan or are trying to follow the real logic crystallizing Similar to crystallizers from other mods, the nuclear craft one can be used for turning fluids, the corresponding dusts. Wow, that's not English. Let's go with crystallizer, crystallizer, and it's that one. I recognize it from the mod. I'm going to need a cauldron, so let's make a cauldron, and let's do this. Perfect. That's another quest done. Breaking bat. Oh. I love that quest name. Okay, that, that one is a good one. So let's go back here. Crystal Meth, Breaking Bad, the TV show. If you don't know it, I don't know why. Okay, let's go back here. Show that back in. I don't need the solenoid, so I'm going to show that back in also. Okay, I did all of these so I could unlock true nuclear fusion. The fusion reactor consists of a nuclear core to which at least one fusion connector is connected on every side surrounded by a square shaped ring of electromagnets. For it to work, all electromagnets need to be powered. So that's the true power I want to use. Why did I need that? Well, one, it was easy and quick to build. And two, it's going to power the magnet for the new reactor because you need like to charge start it, which is kind of cool. Like I like the principle that you need a lower tech level to be able to get to the higher tech level but if i look at fusion i come here this is the fusion core so the fusion core needs two chemical reactor which is why i made two also need these led plating which needs crystal binder like this is a multi-step process we also need for uh for fusion connector this is very simple i can even oh i thought i was going to be able to do all four yeah so tough alloy do i not have tough alloy yeah right here so let's just do 16 of those next start perfect and now let's go back to fusion fusion connector no it's not ready yet so and i'm going to need 128 fusion electromagnet which is simple simple but annoying to craft so let's just go right here and say 
fusion electromagnet let's make the recipe do this come back here put it in one of these things let's put it in here and then if i come back here i can just say 128 next and look at this it's 14k but i have 64k now so i can hit start and just let that run so this is really amazing for me like that's something i really wanted to achieve oh not here so let's get out of here let's come down here let's go to fusion connector and let's make oh this is using my tough alloy darn i was going to so anyway this is started let's let it go and let's continue so if we go back here next one is infusing with fluids the fluid infuser infuses items with fluids fluid infuser infuses fluid yeah pretty pretty good it mainly infuses radioactive isotopes with oxygen. So we need to craft a fluid infuser. So let's do that. And what am I missing? Ah, oh, I'm missing the advanced plating. And because, because of everything that's going on, I'm having an issue. It's still not, I ran out of space. Thorium, oh! Thorium and uranium are two things that I did not create a spot for. Oops. And because these are all lock, I have to do this and I have to do that. And perfect. So let me just grab this and go boom, 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 put it back in here. Great. Okay. Sorry, guys. I kind of misplaced where it was going. So let's come back here. What does this look like now? This should be almost done importing. Thorium ingot, perfect. Now, if I come back here, I should be able to craft the things that I want. So if I do this, what am I missing? Ferroboron, oh, that is also something that Fusion is massively using. You know what? I'm going to, like I showed you how to start it. I got it started. I'm going to come here. I'm going to cancel it because I need to be able to do things right now. And I'm going to restart it when I get into my time lapse. So I wanted to make the, I need some ferroboron, ferroboron. Oh, I have some. So I think I might be okay with everything. So fluid in future right here. Can I craft this now? Still no, because I'm missing this servo mechanism and plating. So plating, I'm going to need to make more of these start go perfect so now i should be able to do my fluid infuser Whew, that was a bit more arduous than i was hoping for so fluid infuser perfect so that's another quest let's claim that back come back oh it is not oh no it is finished it just didn't detect sometimes i'm just too fast so let's hit back let's come back here and claim that perfect Next one is super cool. The super cooler cools down fluid. We need to craft a super cooler. So super cooler. Oh, it's one word. Super cooler. What do I need for a super cooler? Uh, I'm going to need another one of those. So let's craft one of those. And now do I have everything else? No. What am I missing? Magnesium diboride alloy. Okay. That one is a new one, I think. So it's boron and magnesium. So boron, one, two, three, four, and magnesium. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't have magnesium. So that's the one thing I have not crafted. Okay, so magnesium. Magnesium is this, oh, hello, this. I need enriched bone meal and glowstone. So magnesium and rich let's just grab 16 that should be enough and glowstone glowstone it's going to be 32 because it's two for one and that was a what kind of recipe again oh i'm not in the right place magnesium magnesium is in the alchemical fusion so let's come here boom boom give me some magnesium two four 
and let's go start some right now. I'm going to replace the thorium. Yeah, I'm going to replace the thorium. I think we have enough thorium now. Although this is only four, so it should go back to thorium pretty fast. Anyway, so that's going to do, create some magnesium. That's not going to import anywhere. So I'm going to have to go back down here and find a spot for magnesium right here. Perfect. That's put there. Um, by the way, I keep saying that I want to remove this. What I'm going to do instead is this. I'm just tired of it right now. Vacuum. Vacuum hopper right here. Let's craft one of these. Nope. Let's craft an eye of ender first. Come on. One eye of ender. What vacuum hopper. And then I'm going to put the one vacuum hopper right here. And this should technically grab all of the cobblestone. And I'm going to deal with... Really? You're going into my inventory before going into that. Uh, I might have to destroy this thing. It's so annoying that maybe I'll just end up destroying it. I thought the vacuum opera would have pre precedence and take it before me. Anyway, back to what we were doing. We were talking about... I don't even remember which machine we were doing. The super cooler. So super cooler. Uh, I was making diboride. So magnesium. Oh. Magnesium. Perfect. So I need two. One, two. And boron. I need four. One, two, three, four. Well, I don't need. The reason I'm doing this is that I want to make a processing pattern and say one with two. And then I'm going to go transform that. right here so these i'm also going to change spot at some point and that gives three perfect so let's come back up here and we're going to set the recipe properly to three and this gives three magnesium diaboride and give me that perfect and what about my pattern so let's just look my pattern yeah my 32 patterns are ready let's put that right here Clear that and change back to this. And now I want this one of those two. This one. So diobor uh, magnesium. So this I'm going to say 20. Next, start. Perfect. That's going to make 21. But now that I have everything, I can go back to super cooler right here and i should be able to craft this yes one super cooler and let's show that in there that's another quest done just waiting for oh hoth machine okay some of the name are getting cooler one was annoying but the other ones are really cool next thing is smashing stone the rock crusher can crush the the various stone types into some mildly useful material i need a rock crusher and the quest is completed but i don't remember making that did I? No, I don't have it downstairs. So I didn't make the rock crusher, but it thinks I did. Uh, I'm going to need some linear actuator. What? Come on. I'm out of piston. Really? Wow. Okay, of all the things to be out, and that's something I have a recipe. So just go piston, craft. 100 next start perfect we won't be missing piston anytime soon so rock crusher this one let's grab this one perfect and it's important let's let it detect and i'm going to bring it right here because we're going to need it oh and we need more patterns okay so i remember what this quest is all about this quest is about new different kind of material so if I come here, it wants us to get some crushed rhodochrosite, some zirconium dust, and some beryllium dust. We can go through GEI, and I can show you how they all work, but there's no need. Instead, what I'm going to show you is that I need to make andesite. And you make andesite from cobblestone and diorite. How do you make diorite from cobblestone and quartz? So I'm going to get this recipe, and I'm going to put it into a molecular assembler right now. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to say 
and the site uh, no uh, what's it called again dio right I'm going to say give me three stack of this so 60 128 188 192 so 192 so that's three stacks go why do I want three stack well it's going to be really easy to guess let's make this into a pattern put it in here oh sorry let's find the spot first put it in here and that one is for endocyte and let's just say I want 128 of this which is going to use half of what I created before and now the last one is so diorite and the site and what's the other ite that we make oh right here granite so granite is also with diorite let's make this pattern let's come right here oh let's just find the right spot again put it here and now granite let's just ask for 64 of this next start perfect so I'm going to grab night oh so 64 and the site 64 diorite and 64 granite and now let's go do some crushing so if I come here to the rock crusher which would like some speed upgrade for sure so speed upgrade these one same thing let's do oh, let's do a stack of speed upgrade i'm really fed up with this so one stack of speed upgrade and which ever other machine we're going to make it's going to go super fast so let's put the granite and can i put oh yes i can put a whole stack it's just okay so a whole stack is max using the power so it's like 18k in operation uh, how much more can I abuse this? So this would be way more efficient. Like if I look at it, it's making 18 K. If it was cooled, it would be way more efficient. So I'm going to do that at some point. I could also make it bigger. See, I could extend it by one and go the whole square. The reason I don't really care right now is that I'm going to make the nuclear craft one right there. So I'm not sure I really need that. So that gave us crush the little might some sulfur and some crushed rhodochrosite so i'm just going to wait for this to finish and see i was running low on power which means i was using too much so 42 is the max that this machine can take and i feel like i'm always getting a crushed rhodochrosite like it's a one for one. Oh no so it's not always but it's like almost 90 percent then we're going to put the endocyte which is going to give us beryllium and alugentum and crushed arsenic. So the three things we needed is rhodochrosite, which is the main, and then the beryllium, which is the main, and then, and then, you know what? Let's just start the next one. And then the, is it fluorite really? Or is it the zirconium? I think it's zirconium. Yeah, it was zirconium. So let's just wait for this to detect. Voila. That's another quest done. I'm going to need to do back. Come back here and claim. Oh, and it fell on the ground. Because I'm out of space. So let's get rid of this, 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 this. These two. I'm going to finish everything. I just wanted to accelerate the process a little bit. Like, this is fast, but it's still too slow. But it is fast. It's just, for me, it's always too slow. I, I would prefer not having to wait on this. Well, while we're waiting, let's go. Like, my goal today is to complete this line. So, burning with radiation. The nuclear furnace uses radioactive materials for smelting instead of fuel. It, this is kind of a cool idea, but I already have an alloy smelter, which is a way better furnace and I have the other industrial furnace upstairs mechanism one that does 12 at a time. So this is completely useless. It's only getting crafted because of a quest. So nuclear furnace. Let's uh, missing a regular furnace. Let's make 64. I will never be missing a furnace again. 
So that's done. Don't care about it. Not going to use it. Let's just go into the quest line, claim this, back, come back in, claim, next one. Next one is the salt mixer. The salt mixer can mix salt together. Okay, that seems like a good description of a salt mixer. So now let's go back here, salt mixer, and and when it says that it's a salt mixer, it doesn't mean that it makes salt, salt per se, uh, per se. It's different kind of salt. So if I come here and I put it down and I look at the recipes of this, it's liquids that it's mixing together. But if you look at this, it's taking two kind of fuel and making a different kind of fuel. Like it's really weird. I'm hoping we're not going to have to use it, but I have a strong believe that we might need to use it so let's claim this back and the last one is separating isotope the isotope separator can turn ingots into the corresponding isotopes so let's grab all of them i'm out of space huh okay so let's go in here let's show that let's show that um no nuclear ugh. nuclear furnace I'm just going to keep it on me because I want to put that into a chest. Let's get rid of these things instead. Click, grab these, get rid of these things instead. Perfect. Okay. So what were we crafting? We were crafting an isotope separator. Isotope separator right here. And voila. So that's another machine. Let's wait for the quest to detect. Hello. Oh, it probably has another step. Yes, it does. So now I need thorium-232, uranium-238, boron-11, and lithium-7. So let's search. I only remember lithium-7. So lithium-6, dash no, dash-7. How do you make that? So you make that by cooking lithium-7 dust, or I'm sure there's going to be a better recipe somewhere. Um, isotope separator. We get that by separating lithium. Hmm. <laughs> That's the, I'm going to go with that one. So isotope separator, I'm going to put that down right here. I'm going to go in here, put all of these upgrades. And you know what? I'm pretty sure that lithium is going to use lithium. Let's just grab half a stack, put it in. Let's go. And I'm pretty sure boron is going to be boron. So let's grab half a stack of boron. And then what was thorium? So let's grab half a stack of thorium right here that's still not finished can i make this faster probably i can let's come back here and yeah perfect so this is going faster let's just wait to get all of these and get everything so why is it oh it was full of tiny clump um Come on, give me everything. Then some boron. So let's look at the quest. This is going, like I said, this was the last quest I wanted to do. So this is the lithium. Let's get rid of the lithium now. I don't need this anymore. What about this here? This is the boron. Uh, come on, just go faster. This machine is not instant. And then once the boron is done, we're going to put the thorium and all i'm going to be missing is uranium so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to put the thorium let's go upstairs and let's open the loot so that we can end this episode quickly and let's just go so loot no idea what this this is oh creative destruction one if only we needed to destruct thing uh chaotic harrow floor of primal mana chaotic tool rod Chaotic, oh wow, everything's just chaotic in this. Opium core, chaotic axe head, chaotic axe head. Okay, that's too much chaotic. Uh, invigorating pendant, and the last is chaotic tough binding. So again, I'm going to use this as my dump chest still. I, I've, I haven't decided what I'm going to do uh, for dump chest. Do I have a crate in here? Yes, I do have a medium crate. So let's grab a medium crate. Let's go back down here and I'm going to put the medium crate down in the corner and that's going to be my nuclear craft crate. So let's come here. This is all done. 
Now, the only thing I do not have is uranium. Uranium. Let's craft half, this, half a stack of uranium. Put that in here. And the moment we have both of them, that should complete the quest. Quest completed, isotop. So let's claim this back. Oh, I said let's claim. Back, perfect. So that's one last one to open. Another chaotic hammer. And let's show that in here. Let's show that, 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 and that in here. This is going to go into my other crate. So if I look at this, we completed all of the extreme reactor and we completed a full line of this. Now, next episode, we're going to get into the active cooling and cooling and elements, and we're going to get into the fission reactor and salty fission. So that's going to be where we go. This is all free power. I think we're going to be able to get rid of all of this next episode, all of this nuclear craft. And the last episode will probably be the true nuclear fusion and the sing gas. So my power problem couldn't come at a better time because this is first step, then second step, and then third step, and then fourth step, and we will have infinite power forever with nothing that's ever going to run out. You know what, guys? That's going to be enough. I'm going to go into a time lapse where I'm going to continue improving my crafting. I'm going to put another set of eight of these, I'm pretty sure. And I'm just going to maybe add one of two of those crafter, although five seems to be enough. I don't know. I'm not going to go crazy, but I'm going to add a little bit. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!